What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. We're going to make a buildable Deadpool. You guys have seen this guy before. We're going to make a Deadpool with that same size. So we got to zoom in. We'll move him off to the side. Here's our legs. Yep, they move. So we're going to start at this level and tighten up a couple things here. And what we'll do is add on to the legs. Here's the back of it in case you're wondering. Now I made this in dark red. I got these instructions off rebrickable.com. If you want to buy them, yeah, they're a few bucks. Now keep in mind the guy that made this, he made it in red. So that red, not the dark red. So if you want to build it, the way I did, you got to do a little bit of part substitution because there's a few pieces that don't exist in dark red. I think there's like eight, um, but most of them, they're almost, you're never going to know. So here's our torso. One of those pieces that doesn't exist is the round belt buckle. Um, then there's a one by four Technic piece here, brick. Yeah, it doesn't exist in dark red, but really, does it matter at this point? So let's zoom back a little bit. We just sit that on there, and that'll snap down on. And yes, these are all dark red, even though some of those may look like red. It's just different, like the different dark red shades. That is so sad. Look at that. I didn't even notice that till now. You don't really notice it when you're building it until it's on display. Yeah. We got three different dark red colors there. Anyway, so the arms move up. They hold just like the buildable minifig. Same exact interior pieces. Um, I'd recommend buying another one of these so you'd get a lot of those interior guts if you're going to build this. So we've got our body. We've got our back. What do we need to add next? This. So this is his sword holder. It goes over his neck. And the two swords will go right down in there. So we're going to pop that on, and that just sits there like that. And snaps in on that one bracket piece. We're going to zoom back a little bit more. We're going to raise this up. Thing that we're, the, the next thing we're going to do is swords. I've got two of them. We've got tiles on one side, and then like the inverted tiles on the other. So we just need to place them inside so they're on his back that way it looks just like this one pretty close other than him being red <laughs> all right last thing for the reveal got to have the head and the eyebrows or the eyes just a little bit off okay so there's our head and with him Really, the only difference is the tile color, but if you buy this, you get all the head interior things, and all you're basically doing is the, out, the exterior facade of the head. So let's pop it on there. And there we go. There's our Deadpool. Let's put it on the turntable. That way you can see. I thought about making him some guns. Like that one. We'll get to him in a second. I don't know yet. I'm really just happy with the way it is. <laughs> so, what do you think? All right, let's do a rotation to see what he looks like. Now, here's what it looks like, fully completed. I'll turn the rotation table on so you can see. Swords in the back, easy enough. The uh, sword holder, really cool idea. Um, again, I use dark red. I know some of these pieces, they may not look all dark red, but they are. That's just how Lego does with their dark red. Um, we can pull the swords out. We'll get the other one here. And we'll stop this table. And what we'll do, we'll bring him back around and... You'll see the swords, they've got that one spot there. 
And this is built just like the uh, buildable minifig, which I'll show you in a second for a side-by-side -side comparison. So we can put his arms up. He can move his hands. And actually, I think, yeah, we got to do this. We got to rotate them hands. That way, the swords can fit. He can hold them. So if you want to display it, oh, live mistake. <laughs> I'm not going to refilm it because we're so close to being good with this. So you can have them out. You can have them in. He'll hold them up. I know there's a little bit of give to it. Yeah, this one's not wanting to stay. But anyway, let me zoom back a little bit. You get the point. I want to get this one up so I can try to rotate it. But yeah, it's, it's not wanting to do it. So probably that's the best way to do it, to have it uh, displayed. As you can see the hands, how they... Well, at least... The sword's not going to come off his hand. His hand's going to come off first. But <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to get this back on. There's our sword. Oh, I messed it up. Just a second. All right. Got the swords fixed. <laughs> Who knew it was going to be that hard? Let's turn them here to the side. Turn them to the back. Yeah, this little thing is a work of art. I know it doesn't look like much, but yeah, that was an amazing little feat. So what we'll do is pop that one in, bring this one in, and there's our back. Now, like I said, it's all red, but yeah, there are definitely different color dark reds there being really noticeable between those two pieces those two for sure but yeah i didn't notice that one or yeah there's one there too i didn't really notice them until i got to it but anyway so i'm gonna move this off the tray my little turntable let's bring in the other minifig buildable minifig so you can do a side-by-side -side comparison so aside from the hat, <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much the same size. The uh, interior body, I mean, this is all exactly the same other than the super decorative artwork. Same exact shape. The arms, the inside gears, they're exactly the same. So if you're thinking about building this, this is 50 bucks. It's almost worth it to buy this just to get all the interior pieces, which you may have a lot of them anyway. There's a couple ball joints. I think you have to have four of them, and they're only in like five or six sets right now, this being one of them. So then they're like dollar, dollar fifty or so a piece. But if you build this in red, well, you've got a lot of your red pieces already. The head, you get all the interior head pieces to get that shape. So it, it's up to you. I made it in dark red only because that just seemed a lot better. I wanted to get out my other two Deadpools. So there's the uh, minifig that came out in that Wolverine uh, origin set that came with Magneto and Wolverine. So he's he is red. I got this these instructions off Rebrickable. Uh, I think I made a video on this last year, maybe even two years ago. It's got the swords. Yeah, same swords as the tiny one, but eh, give and take. Anyway, this is a really cool build if you're interested, or maybe you just don't want to build something that expensive. I probably have a little over $100 in this. Um, some of it is shipping cost. Because, I mean, if you ship... Yeah, you ship one minifig, it's going to cost you five bucks in shipping. You get a padded envelope, so... 
really, I mean, if you're shipping one piece like this little helmet, yeah, that's going to cost you $5 to ship that. So, yeah. Anyway, my Deadpool collection. <laughs> what do you think? I'm happy with it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, the instructions are on rebrickable.com for these two. It's an amazing job by this guy. His is in red. Keep that in mind. So when you look at the parts list, it's all regular red. So there's you got to kind of do a little work if you're going to make it in dark red. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. And check out my other videos. Maybe there's something of interest there.